Welcome back to Golf Extra. Patrick Cantlay is one of the top golfers on the PGA Tour, having been ranked as high as number three in the world and with eight wins in his PGA Tour career. Despite his visibility on the world golf stage, though, there's quite a bit that we bet you don't yet know about this star of the PGA Tour. Stay tuned here on Golf Extra as we fill you in on all the details. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now, let's get right into our list of five things that you didn't know about Patrick Cantlay. One, he had an excellent amateur career. Cantlay had an excellent amateur career, headlined by the fact that he was the world number one in amateur golf for 54 consecutive weeks. He qualified for the 2011 U.S. Open and finished as the low amateur, then did the same at the 2012 Masters Championship. He also shot the lowest round in PGA Tour history for an amateur with the score of 60 at the 2011 Travelers Championship. He was also able to win several significant amateur tournaments like the 2011 Southern California Amateur and finish as a runner-up in other tournaments like the 2011 Western Amateur and the 2011 U.S. Amateur. All of this went to show that he had a lot of promise even before he turned professional. Maybe he'll even be ranked number one in the pro circuit just like in his amateur career. Two, his back injury almost ended his golf career. Cantlay was once a lock to be a future star in the golf world, especially following his stellar amateur career. He had even won only his second tournament appearance on the Web.com Tour at the Columbia Championship in 2013. However, he soon suffered a debilitating back injury while he was warming up for a range session in 2013. The injury would limit him to appearances in only nine total tournaments for the next three seasons and led to some serious doubts as to whether his golf career would even continue. As Cantlay would later write while reflecting on his injury, I'd even considered going back to school, but I wasn't finished with golf. I can't imagine doing anything halfway. I thought, if I go back to school, I want to go back to school and only do school and get all A's and spend my time making business connections so I can set up what I'm going to do after school. So I didn't feel like I could do the physical therapy and get the kind of rest I needed to compete if I also had been going to school. Sure, there are 24 hours in a day, and yes, you can do multiple things, but not to do everything 100%. Eventually, Cantlay's injury, officially diagnosed as a stress fracture of his L5 vertebrae, would heal, and he completed his remarkable comeback with a victory in a playoff at the 2017 Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Even still, it's crazy to think that the excellent golf career that we know Cantlay has now was almost taken away before it even fully got off the ground. 3. He's caddied by longtime caddy Matt Minister. Cantley was originally caddied by his longtime friend Chris Roth, but Roth tragically passed away in a hit and run accident in February 2016. This tragic accident not only had a huge impact on Cantley personally, but it also left his vital position of caddy open. Eventually, the post was filled by longtime professional caddy Matt Minister. Minister has been a caddy on the PGA Tour for over 15 years and has worked with a long list of quality players, including Sang Moon Bay and Nick Price. Minister is also a quality golfer in his own right, having played collegiately at Ohio State University and currently keeps a near-scratch handicap. Minister has used his experience to help drive his pairing with Cantlay, and together the pair are constantly near the top of the leaderboard on tour. 4. His family loves golf. Patrick's not the only golfer in his family. In fact, he has three younger siblings who have all been pretty successful at golf in their own right, all spurred on by their maternal grandfather, Pat Nalen's love of the game. The Cantlay kids each have formed their own path. Of course, Patrick has been very successful, having been ranked as high as number three in the world, but what about the others? Patrick is the oldest golfer in the family, but about three years younger than him is his brother Nick, who is also a professional golfer. He currently has partial status on the Canadian PGA Tour, but he's still working towards a PGA Tour card in America and is currently playing in the Corn Ferry Tour Q School. This is made more impressive by the fact that Nick didn't take up golf as his main sport until later in his high school years, so he may still improve. The next youngest sibling in the Cantlay family is Caroline, who was an important member of the women's golf team at California Polytechnic State University. She even won the 2019 Southern California Golf Association Match Play Tournament, but ultimately decided that a life playing on the LPGA wasn't for her. She now works as a tournament coordinator for the Pebble Beach Company. Jack, the youngest of the Cantlay siblings, might be the only one who can truly give Patrick a run for his money. 
Still just a teenager, he burst onto the world stage last year with the scorching nine-hole round of 28 in the U.S. Junior Amateur at Bandon Dunes in Oregon. This followed a rough start to the round, but the recovery allowed him to proceed to the match play portion of the event, where he also got a win. It's safe to say that Patrick was impressed, as he said. One of the things I really liked about it is I think he was three over par, four over par through eight holes in the biggest tournament he's ever played. And then instead of panicking or losing it, he went out and I mean, I think played his last 10 holes in nine under. That's great for someone who hasn't played a USGA championship before. Being on the biggest stage, being able to do that after that kind of start, I thought that showed a lot of character. Patrick later added, he's been working really hard on his game for a while now, and it's really nice to see all the improvement that he's had on his game. I know we played a number of years ago, and we talked about really getting sharp around the greens, and he's improved that a lot. As far as who inspired Jack to work on his game enough to play at this high of a level, no surprise, it's the very talented Patrick. As Jack says, I've always watched him play golf competitively, and I've wanted to do it too, so it's kind of led me down this path of playing competitively at a high level. We don't know about you, but we're hoping to see much more out of the Cantlay family in the golf world in the years to come. 5. His nickname is Patty Ice Since Cantlay has yet to win a major championship, his win at the 2021 BMW Championship at Caves Valley Golf Club might be his defining moment to date. Trailing Bryson DeChambeau for much of the final round, Cantlay made a clutch series of putts in order to stay in the fight. After forcing a playoff, Cantlay made many more clutch putts again and again, making DeChambeau play a grand total of six playoff holes before Cantlay finally closed it out with a 20-foot birdie. As a result, fans behind the ropes gave Cantlay a new nickname, Patty Ice, evoking the nickname of then-Atlanta Falcons quarterback Matt Ryan, Matty Ice. This nickname personifies not only Cantlay's clutch putting, but also his calm demeanor on the golf course. As for what Cantlay thinks about the nickname, I think it's great. I think I heard it all week last week, and it was kind of the first time I had heard it ever, and I think it suits me, I think. It rings a little true of my personality, and I think a moniker that really rings. That just has a partial bit of truth, but maybe a larger exaggeration, or a larger, I don't know what the right word is, but it tries to say almost too much, but yet it just rings a little true. I think that's where we're at with that, and I think that's great. If people want to do it and people want to call me that, they're more than welcome to call me that. The most outlandish nickname I've ever gotten is PC, and so yeah, I think it's great. Let's hope we get to see Patty Ice drain a clutch putt in many more big tournaments to come. So, what do you think about our list of five things you didn't know about Patrick Cantlay? Do you think he'll win his first major this year? Be sure to leave us a comment with what you think down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch our latest content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.